here in Metropica I am on the penthouse and this penthouse will blow your mind so let's check it out What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today I'm gonna show you some good place to live, not just here in Central Florida or Claremont. I know right? This one is from South Florida in Fort Lauderdale area and I am proudly to say welcome to Metropica. I've been to South Florida which is about three to four hours drive here from Central Florida where I'm located at and I went to Fort Lauderdale area which is quite far away from here yes i know it's far away but what i'm gonna show you is just like a unbelievable place and very excitement place to live like a urban life in south florida this is a place where you can live in the city area or a urban area where you can get everything that you need in one of the central place or i would say business place in fort lauderdale but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and also share this video for those people who appreciate this video and you found this value and make sure the most important thing smash that like button for me and also last but not the least I just want to clarify that I am NOT a financial advisor I am NOT a lawyer or accountant I am a realtor here in Florida this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only are we good in that one let's jump into it so first thing that I will show you is the Metropica okay what you can find in Metropica what is in Metropica <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So Metropica is located in South Florida. If you want to be specific, it's located in Fort Lauderdale area and that surrounding area is in Sawgrass Mill. If you heard about Sawgrass, oh my god, this is like one of the busiest and one of the nicest area that you can visit. This area is not about like business area, but you could do a lot of stuff here in this area. The first thing that I would like to tell you about this area is you can see like the sawgrass mills mall oh my god i've never been to that mall my wife does and she loves it if you're the kind of person that you like to go shopping check this place and you might love it and also this area is not just far from airport and also some stadium and also some school and all that stuff but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you what i did and also the sales representative of this area which is the metropica she will tell us on the surrounding area here in Metropica. If you want to hear everything to make sure you stay tuned from this video until in the end. This video might be a long one wow. but you know it's worth of watching it especially if you want to move here in South Florida and if you want to be in the beach or closer to the beach check this out. What? All right so I hope you enjoy this one and also I just want to say like this video I just I took was raw video. What is a raw video? It means like it's not just me here the sales representative and also my other colleague or other co-worker or co-realtor was with me all right so if i'm taking video with someone else inside of the unit the one i'm gonna show you later on please excuse that one but you know you will see the surrounding area here i hope you like it enjoy the tour
so the, the mail room is a replica of a mail room designed by Philippe Starr for a high-end rental building in Manhattan called Dwell 95. And the illusion of having tall, high ceilings, uh, elegant, tall ceilings, but it's only functional up to where you see the numbers. I always say, jokingly, that mailbox down, but it's only functional up to where the numbers are, okay? Then, you're going to see our beautiful elevators. I think the service elevator will come first. Yeah, but we're going to wait for of 10 penthouse residences. Out of the 10, I think we have four remaining. 1,800 square feet to 2,500 square feet. Price between 1.7 and 2 million. This is penthouse 07. Beautiful balcony, is very spacious. You'll see that not only the penthouse terraces are wide and spacious, it's also for the regular residences. Because the developer's idea, since we are in a very unique location, given the natural reserve, for people to really enjoy less pollution, because there's less tra traffic uh, in the area. So the, the, the quality of the air and the lifestyle is more laid back, is, is healthier. Um, and we're going to go to the corner residence. Okay, so here it's not so much the layout, you don't really need to make the effort and sweat climbing the stairs. It's more about you getting situated as far as location and open unobstructed views for life. Because if you visit developments in uh, Rico or Miami downtown, due to the sparsity of uh, land available for construction, builders didn't care that they would one of their buyers would see what the, the, the neighbor in the next door building is. So here you have 
open and obstructed views for life. Now, location-wise, we are in the epicenter of four counties with a total population of 6.5 million inhabitants. We are in an area, from a logistics point of view, with easy access to all the major highways. We are 50 minutes away from Fort Lauderdale International Airport. By the way, there is a Uh, so, Orlando <laughs> for Lauderdale, one hour and 15 or 20 minutes or something like that. There are two flights, in fact. Spirit and uh, I forgot the other one. And soon enough, Brightline is going to yeah. go to Brightline. Yeah. Yeah. More sensation. I think it's going to start in February. The same thing is going to be in Florida. Before Lauderdale. Yeah. 15 minute drive. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, this is 136 Avenue. So, we spoke about the 15 for Lauderdale International. It's about 30 to 40 minutes to Miami International. It's about 20 to 30 minutes for Lauderdale. That's the skyline. That's for Lauderdale skyline over there. You see the Hard Rock Guitar Hotel? Right there. Uh, from, from a resale strategy perspective, I'm going to go over the thriving corporate Button, it's not ready. Oops! Yeah. What? Let's do it. Let's do it again. Part two.